Today, I'm talk gonna talk a little bit about blue sky laws. What exactly are they? And do I need to worry about them when I'm out raising capital uh, or bringing in investors into different deals or companies that I'm involved with? So let me share my screen and I'll go a little bit over about what blue sky laws are and what areas of blue sky laws you need to worry about. So what exactly are blue sky laws? So when it comes to securities, when you issue capital, whether it's stock, ownership in an LLC, and you're raising capital uh, for a company, there are federal and state regulation of those securities. On the federal level, um, you have the Securities Act and the SEC. Most people only worry about that. However, you do st still need to worry about state securities laws. The states back in the early 1900s, there was a case in Kansas where uh, basically the judge said they needed to comply with state regulations, not just federal. And the judge said something about looking at the blue sky and they became known as the blue sky laws. Um, and now they're in the Uniform Securities Act, which is followed by most states. That's where the term came from. And it basically refers to state securities regulations. Under Section 18 of the Securities Act, the federal law does preempt or override any state regulation of securities. So if you've heard from another attorney, hey, you don't have to worry about blue sky filings because federal law overrides states. Well, yes, to some extent. However, you have to look at actual language of Section 18. And Section 18 basically talks about that the states cannot regulate any covered security, whether forcing you to register it or qualify those securities in the state if it's a covered security. And they go into what is a covered security, which is not relevant here, but basically federal law typically overrides state law. However, Blue Sky Section 18 of the Securities Act, sub C, preserve certain authority to the states. Subsection one says the states can still enforce fraud, deceit, regulate broker-dealer conduct and funding portals on the state level. So it allows the states to do this. Subsection two allows the states to require what are considered notice filings and collect fees. So I'm gonna give, go through a quick example. Under regulation D, which is one of the most common ways to privately raise capital, you have something like a Rule 506B offering. You bring in some money, a couple million dollars. You file a Form D, which is a couple page notice with the SEC saying that you're relying on an exemption to raise capital. And it's not a where you have to register your security with the SEC. On a state level, you still need to file Blue Sky notice filings. You don't actually have to register the stock in each state. However, if you have investors in five different states, then you have blue sky notice filings and filing fees in all five states. So people are concerned about this when they're raising capital because a Form D has no fee. It's a couple page, you file electronically and you're done and on the federal level with the SEC. However, each state has their own filing fee schedule and very short notice filings where you give the state notice that you brought in money from investors in that state. Filing fees can range from zero to several hundred dollars per state. And I've seen these be anywhere from zero, $300 for blue sky filings, all the way up to 10,000 or more, uh, depending on how many investors, where they're located, how many states are involved. So the costs for just the filing fees can add up However, to be compliant, you do need to do those filings and pay those fees. Uh, the states have the power to basically stop you from raising capital in those states, uh, give their investors the right to get their money back, plus interest, uh, come after you for all kinds of things. So you still didn't, do need to comply with Blue Sky notice filings. So even when you're out raising capital and federal law typically override state law and you've done what you need to with the SEC, you still have to look at what are my requirements for notice filings with each state under the blue sky laws. So hopefully that answers some of your questions. Feel free to contact me anytime if you have other questions. 
and uh, thank you for watching.